Upon reception of your InnoByte, it is important to charge your device for a minimum of three hours, as well as consult the user guide to get started. To switch on the device, simply press the multifunction button. This button will also reinitialize the display before taking a new measurement. To switch off the InnoByte, simply set aside the device. It will then automatically return to standby mode. The connection cable serves to connect the mouthpiece to the casing. On the handheld device, you will find a red dot indicating the precise positioning for insertion of the cable. The opposite end of the cable needs to be inserted into the mouthpiece connector. Please note that to avoid damage to the connector, it must be inserted gently and without force. To disconnect, simply pull firmly on the grooved segment of the connector. The charging cable connects identically to the connection cable. The opposite end of this cable will then be introduced into the USB wall adapter to charge your InnoByte. Please note, certain other adapters can damage your InnoByte. Although your battery may last up to three days, it is recommended to recharge daily. We recommend that you charge your InnoByte prior to it reaching 5% residual battery. This can be seen on the upper left-hand corner of the device. It will take up to three hours to completely recharge your InnoByte. Once the device is completely assembled, you will see two values of zero Newton. You may now proceed to your first bite force measurement. You may insert the mouthpiece, which must be covered by a disposable protector, into the patient's mouth. The positioning of the incisors must be placed against the central guide. This will ensure optimal precision of each measurement. Your patient will need to bite the mouthpiece as hard as possible for one to two seconds. You may take multiple measurements consecutively to collect sufficient data. The patient file should be filled out for each patient. This important information allows us to correlate the data. Cube Innovation supplies a bite force reference chart that can be used to illustrate the result with your patient. This chart is particularly useful to visually illustrate the actual situation of the patient, helping to choose an appropriate treatment plan. After each patient, the mouthpiece must be cleaned with an approved antiseptic before the next measurement. In order to ensure accurate measurements, the mouthpiece must be replaced after 1,000 measurements. At 900 measurements, a warning will appear on the screen so you can contact Cube Innovation to order your replacement. Each box contains 100 disposable protectors for your mouthpiece. You can order additional disposable protectors directly from Cube Innovation as needed. If you are encountering an issue, on the back of your device, there is a small opening with a reset button that can be activated with a pen. Your InnoByte is covered by a one-year warranty. The details are available in the user guide.